Today, the Ector County Commissioners discussed and approved the appointment of judges and alternates, as well as a list of early voting clerks for the 2017-2019 election cycle. What we approved it was to appoint the, the judges and the alternate judges for every precinct and the early voting to who will be in charge of those election polling places which we have a lot of polling places and we have, they even have other alternates in Castle in case something does happen with the, the elected uh, people that we appointed for the judges and alternates. County Commissioner Armando Rodriguez, Precinct 4, explains the importance of this process of appointing judges and alternates. If one of the party voted big numbers like they say for the Republic voted big numbers, the judge would be the, be the judge and the alternate would be a Democrat. You have to double check then that everything is running perfect and everything else. Lisa Sertuche, County Elections Administrator, invites the community at large to participate as workers at the polling sites during the 2017-2019 election cycles. Any other individual out there that would like to be part of the uh, election process to work that one day work day or work early voting, they're more than happy to give us a call at the office at 432-498-4030. While Hector County is preparing now for the midterm and 2020 election, Commissioner Rodriguez sees the need for the county's voting machines to be upgraded or replaced to better serve the voters. Uh, nothing whatsoever. We're hoping that our system is working perfect and everything else. That later on, and maybe in the future, maybe another year or two, we will have to buy new equipment. Our equipment is getting a little bit older, so everything is technology is moving up quicker than before. For DRB Media Communications, Danny Barrera.